this video will demonstrate the Broadway motif. Here's a swatch of the Broadway motif. It's essentially a two row repeat that is worked over a multiple of eight stitches plus two. So for this swatch, I've created quite a few rows of this Broadway motif just to show you how it lays out in the end. I'm going to start with a single crochet row, which I've already completed, and now I'm going to show you how to create these longer motif rows um, with the slanted treble crochets. It looks more complicated than it is, and it's a really beautiful texture for any piece. So once you've created a row of single crochets, our repeat on the right side will begin by making three chain stitches. Those three stitches will count as our first double crochet and our first stitch is going to be this slanted treble crochet. So we've, we're going to um, count this chain as a stitch which would lead us to this next stitch However, we're going to create the slanted treble into the third stitch. So we're going to make our treble crochet by skipping the next two stitches, working into the third. And just to tighten it up, I like to yarn under for this stitch, just to make sure that we're especially taut on the treble crochet. That's a matter of preference. I like that stitch to be nice and tight and not lagging at all. Once we've created that, we're going to work two double crochets into the spots that we skipped. And we're gonna do that behind this treble crochet. First one. And the second, just right behind that treble we created first. Okay, so we've got one side of our slanted work here. Next, we'll work a double crochet into the next stitch. That'll be sort of the center of that motif. And then we're essentially going to reverse what we've done here to make this treble cro crochet slant the opposite way. So we are going to first skip our next stitch. Eventually that's where our treble will go. And then we're going to do two double crochets into the next two following stitches. Our sort of challenge stitch is creating our treble crochet, which is gonna slant backwards. So we are going to create our treble crochet, but it's gonna have to be worked in front of these two stitches. And so um, working into that stitch is a little bit tricky. So I'll try to do this slowly. I like to insert my hook and pop it up immediately. So um, I'm working in the front of the work into that skipped stitch. And then again, I like to yarn under on these um, treble crochets to make them extra tight. So. That's the only tricky part of this motif. And then to separate those repeats, we are going to add another double crochet. And you'll repeat that across the row. So we'll do that again. We're gonna start by skipping two and treble crocheting into the third. And again, I like to yarn under on these. We're gonna create our treble. And then fill in the 
stitches we skipped working behind with double crochets. Going to separate that slanted treble with a double in the next stitch. And then sort of do the opposite. We're going to skip one, double crochet one, each of the next two stitches, and then we're going to treble crochet into that skipped stitch again. Here's our tricky one. One, two, three. And now we're at the end of our row. We're just going to work a final double crochet to end that row. Then we'll chain one and on the wrong side of our work we'll single crochet across and then repeat that row again. Pretty simple. <laughs> 